the porn problem is in the news again. Is there a solution? Well, I believe there is. And a good piece of advice comes from one of the oldest pieces of literature in history. I refer to the book of Job. Job, who probably was a contemporary of Abraham. So it goes back a long way. Yes, Job, who uttered those wonderful words, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, and though worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Yes, wonderful gospel words, uh, an anticipation of the coming of Jesus Christ. But Job also had something very useful to say about the porn problem. And uh, it comes in chapter 31 of the book of Job, verse 1. I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I look upon a young woman? That's the revised authorised version. And then in the uh, New Living Translation, uh, we hear, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look with lust at a young woman. Of course, fast, fast forward, and then one remembers the, the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said this, uh, What comes out of a man is that which defiles the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, an evil eye, you see, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. That's from Mark's Gospel, chapter 7 and verse 20. And then, of course, reinforcing what Job said so many hundreds of years ago, uh, our Saviour also said, in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5, whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So it's pretty clear that the root of the problem, of the porn problem, is our hearts, lust within the heart. And while that remains, uh, there'll be no solution which is another way of saying that sin is not skin disease, it's heart trouble. But there is useful practical guidance in the words of Job. I remember when I was a young Christian and I used to travel from my home in Farnborough in Hampshire to London to come under the ministry of the late Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones at Westminster Chapel. And I would catch the train to Waterloo and then I would have a, a tube journey from Waterloo to St James's Park. And I remember using the escalator and finding that uh, either side of the escalator was advertising of every kind. And very often there was sexually suggestive advertising even then in uh, those more restrained uh, times. I found, therefore, uh, it's very important while I was on the escalator to keep my eyes forward, looking straight ahead, and to avoid glancing to the left or to the right at these suggestive uh, adverts. So I leave this thought with you. Uh, men have a responsibility. Of course, uh, they aren't the only ones to blame. Uh, women ought to be very careful about wearing modest clothes. Uh, and that can be done. And, 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 and should be done. But Job seems to highlight the fact that so often the problem begins with lustful men and their looks and their eyes. So I think the solution to the porn problem 
a very practical solution and we need the grace of God to help us to fulfill this is to make a contract with our eyes, an agreement with our eyes, or as he calls it, a covenant with our eyes. So I suggest to all men of every age, not just young men as I once was, but men of every age, especially in this visual age, we need to listen to this portion of the Word of God. Otherwise, the wickedness and the sexual abuse which is a cancer in our society uh, will only continue leaving the trail of devastation in in broken lives everywhere so i end where i began with the words of job i have made a covenant with my eyes why then should i look upon a young woman so be careful where you look I leave those thoughts with you. God bless you.